One love. Let your energy be your guide. It's time to look inside. Let your energy be your guide. It's time to free your mind. <laughs> One love, this is Eye of Fire. The human tree of life here in the heart of Jamaica. Sending love to your beating heart. Sending love to all beating hearts. One love, I love you. Thanks for your time, thanks for listening. Last night, I came back from town, tired, and I misplaced my car keys, as we all do sometimes. <laughs> so for about five minutes, I ran around looking for them. I didn't find them and I decided to just leave it. I decided to ask my intuition where they were. I fell asleep. I woke up the next morning and meditated and while I was meditating, feeling my energies in my body, I like to spend time focusing on the feelings in my body in specific areas in my solar plex area my heart area in the center of my head in my pineal gland area anyway I asked the feelings where are my keys <laughs> can you please tell me where my keys are and in my meditation I actually had a vision a flash and I saw my keys on a pile of clothes actually saw it, it was a very clear vision, very lucid. So I came out of the meditation and I knew where my keys were. I went over to the pile of clothes and lifted up a few clothes and there were my keys. This is amazing. I've been talking about energy for a while now, making videos, talking about the fact that energy is intelligent, just as we are intelligent. Energy is intelligent. All energy is intelligent. But I realize now that we can take this further. Because not only is energy intelligent, energy is com continually communicating with us with our awareness. Everything around us is communicating with us. There's an energy exchange, a reciprocal relation of energy between all things happening all the time. Energy is female, in a sense. <laughs> And our awareness of the energy is male. And it's supposed to be a cooperation between our awareness and the energy all around us. But most of the times there's not. It's almost like a, a man and a wife. You know, if, you, if you're in a relationship and you say, okay, you decided to fix your kitchen together and the man says okay we're gonna put the the stove over there we're gonna put the fridge over there and the wife says yeah that's a good idea oh we could put it here and the man says okay that's good that's cool it's like that with our energy that's how it's supposed to be we're supposed to have a cooperation of communication with our energy working together So, if we ask our energy, the female aspect of ourselves, to do something in a nice way, <laughs> the energy will cooperate. But just as if we ask, say, if we talk to our wife and we say, why did you put that there? Put it over here, put it over there, don't do that, don't do this. Your, your wife is going to react negatively to your communication. It's the same with 
our energy. Sun's in my eyes here, I'm gonna walk over there. So, ask and you shall receive. Knock the door and it shall be opened. Seek and you will find. If you ask your energy to reveal something to you, it might not do it instantly, but it will give you the answer when you're in a proper state of consciousness to receive it. Now, I'm in my late 50s and I'm just discovering this for myself after a lifetime of spiritual work. I think this is the key for older people, if you're an older person and you're listening to this. Older people are not supposed to just wither away and die. They're supposed to use the tools that they've learnt over years <laughs> of meditation to live a fulfilled life and to teach the younger generation what they've learnt. If you're younger and you're listening to this, these tools are very useful. If you can learn them at a younger age, they're going to help you to be successful because intuition is the key to having a fulfilling life in the best of your capabilities. <laughs> and when we realize this, we can just relax in the notion everything is love. Everything is love right now. Our feelings are continually communicating with us. Our feelings and also the energies of all the things around us. There's a co-creation going on. And within this co-creation, there's communication. That's how it's supposed to be. And it's simple. Just ask your energy. Those feelings that you feel in your body, the feelings that you feel in your solar plex area, heart area, they're all communicatable. And most of us don't realize this. I've only been, in a sense, leading up to this. Because I realized that energy is intelligent. But I haven't realized the communication aspect with energies up until now. So I'm not a master on intuition. These videos are like notes to myself in a sense. But within this video, there's a very, very valuable lesson which can be learned. And it's the key to our intuition. And it's the key to a successful, fulfilled life. Feel your energy and communicate with it. Ask it questions and it will communicate with you. We're actually doing this all the time unconsciously, but we don't realize it. So when we send out angry, irritated signals to our energy, we get angry, irritated signals back. <laughs> when we send out loving signals to our energy, we get loving things back. But when we actually ask questions of our energy and communicate with our energy, we get answers. Sometimes the answers are given to us in feelings. But now I've realized that those feelings can actually be interpreted in a visual way and in an auditory way. Sometimes you get flashes of voices clear audience. Like I said, I'm just starting out on this journey. There are many more people more advanced than me. But this, if you want a beginner's guide to intuition, this is the key. Do this.
and you will have success in everything you do. <laughs> Sending love to your beating hearts. Sending love to all beating hearts. One love. Well, turn it off. <laughs>